Let's take a deep dive into Firefly Boards. It's the one place where you can generate, edit, and organize all your ideas in one place using all the image and video models that Adobe has. And right now is the perfect time to learn it because all the image models, including the partner models and Firefly Video are free to use until December 1st, 2025. In this video, I'll show you how everything works, step by step. So keep this handy anytime you need a quick refresher. Before we dive in, let's get familiar with the workspace. It'll be quick, I promise. You can open Firefly Boards directly from the Firefly homepage. Just select ID8 from the sidebar. You can either add images or check out one of these example boards, or you can open up a board you've already started. For now, we're going to select New Board. Once it opens, you'll see three main panels that make up your workflow, and another one that comes up after you've had something selected. On the board itself, you can rearrange, group, and move assets freely as you build out your ideas. This is the content panel. It's where you create artboards, add images, text, and linked files like PSDs or Illustrator documents to your board. Next is the search and info panel. It connects to Adobe Stock for finding inspiration, but it's also your information hub. You'll find property information, generation history, and comments here. Then there's the Generate panel, where all your image and video generation creation happens. You can write prompts, pick from different AI models, and explore presets to experiment with new looks. And finally, the Edit panel. This is where you'll refine and export your work. Use Generative Upscale, Expand, or Natural Language Edits to make quick adjustments. You'll also find tools like Crop and Remove Background for final cleanup. So that's your workspace, content, search, generate, and edit, all connected in one place. Now that you know your way around, let's get started by gathering some inspiration. Firefly Boards connects directly to Adobe Stock, which means you can search for reference images and ideas right inside your workspace. I usually start with a few visual prompts like color, moods, or lighting styles, just to get the feel for my mood board. The expanded stock search view is one of my favorite features. You can browse tons of images, then select the ones you want to add to your board to start building a mood or direction. Once you've added a few references, try the Vary option. You can choose more like this to explore similar ideas, keep style to maintain the look but not the subject, or keep subject if you want variations of the same object or person in different environments. And if you want a completely new idea, use Remix. Select two images, and it'll reimagine them, changing colors, tones, details, and more. This is a great way to build a visual direction before you start generating anything. Think of it as a digital sketchbook. Everything you create or find here becomes part of your design process. Once you've got some inspiration to guide your look, it's time to start getting creative. Start with your prompt. Think about what you want the image to show, but also about how you want it to feel. Use descriptive language for lighting, materials, and atmosphere. And if you're not sure how to exactly phrase something, just type something in and then click Enhance Prompt. It helps rewrite your text into a stronger, more detailed version. Let's talk about credits. You'll need some for the premium generative options. You can check how many credits the generation will use here on the bottom right. Once you click on that, you can check your credit balance. Keep in mind everything's still free until December 1st, 2025, so now's the time to experiment. Next, you'll pick your model. This determines how the AI interprets your prompt. Each one behaves a little differently, so it helps to know which is best for what you're creating. Use Firefly 5 when you need subject accuracy. It's best for portraits or keeping details consistent. Here I asked it to create a tracksuit with this flower as a pattern. Use Flux Context Pro for realistic and complex renders, especially when lighting or material texture matters. In this example, I used some art and asked it to add it to a women's t-shirt. And Nano Banana is great for creative or stylized concepts. It leans more artistic, less literal. Here, I took a studio portrait and created a new scene and look. Prompts for video work a little differently than prompts for images. You really have to think like a director. Instead of only describing what something looks like, you're also describing how it moves, where the camera is, what the lighting feels like, and the overall mood of the shot. 
And if you're not sure how to phrase something, use Enhance Prompt. It does a great job of turning simple ideas into more cinematic prompts, adding details about movement, lighting, and camera behavior. Most models require first and last frame, which helps control how the animation begins and ends, almost like planning an opening and closing storyboard. You can create these reference frames using Generate Image first. Before you generate, make sure to check out the credit cost. Video generations use significantly more credits than still images. Firefly Video responds well to artistic or stylized direction, especially when you describe the lighting and camera movement. VO 3.1 produces smoother, more realistic motion, and it can also generate audio along with your video, which is something Firefly doesn't support. All right, let's polish things up. Time to jump into editing. When you select your image, the editing tools pop up. Some tools let you make quick targeted changes, others completely modify your image. Use insert to add new objects into your image and use remove to clean up distractions. And then use edit text to modify existing text on an image like a social media post, signs, or packaging. You can also change the editing model depending on the look you want. Firefly Image 5 is great for realistic corrections, like this image where I changed the scene to be a beach scene. Flux Context Pro adds more detail and complexity between the subject and the background. And Nano Banana gives you a more stylized creative interpretation. You can take any still image and turn it into something new, either a 3D rotation or a short video clip, all with one click. It's a great way to turn a concept into something more dynamic. Generative Upscale helps sharpen or improve detail. When you don't want your image modified too much, choose subtle creativity. It keeps things realistic without pushing too far. If you want room around your image, use the Crop tool to expand your canvas. It's more predictable than the Expand tool and easier to work with. And if you want to explore different creative directions, check out Presets. They're a quick way to restyle your image completely, almost like trying on different looks. And if you want to customize what a preset is doing, click View Prompt. You can refine the wording, switch the model, or rewrite it completely. If you already built a prompt you love, use Load Prompt to bring it back. It's perfect for staying consistent across multiple variations. Now that we've edited a few images, let's look at how to keep everything organized. You can collect images onto an artboard. Concepts in one area, variations in another, a little structure helps once your board starts filling up. Then you can download or share it. You can also add linked Photoshop and Illustrator files. If you update the file in Photoshop or Illustrator, Firefly will give you an alert so you can update it on your board with one click. This works best when you save your files to the Adobe Creative Cloud. If you want to share just one image, use Copy Link. The person you send it to only needs a free Adobe account to view it. This can be super helpful if you want to draw someone's attention to a specific image on your board. And you can collaborate on the entire board too. Invite someone in and they can comment or add ideas right alongside you. And when you're ready, you can take things further. You can export any asset or open it directly in Adobe Express or Photoshop on the web. And that's the full Firefly Boards workflow. From gathering inspiration to generating images and video to editing and finally organizing everything in one place. If this helped you learn your way around boards, give the video a like and subscribe for more Firefly and Photoshop updates. And if you want to dive deeper into the AI editing models we use today, check out my AI image editing test featuring the new Firefly 5 AI model. It breaks down which model is best for portraits, realism, and creative concepts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.